Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, today I wanted to do a little bit different video from the normal uh, hero combinations. Um, this, is, this is actually by a viewer request, uh, but I'm doing a video on how to unlock these heroes and the best way to do it without spending any money, um, or at least a tiny little bit of money uh, to, to kind of increase your chances, but you don't need to do it. So these are the top five tips on how to unlock uh, season heroes and you know build a, a very powerful base so tip number one is to save 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 you want to save everything um, you want to save your super recruitment tickets you want to save your season recruitment tickets if you have them this is less important but still do it um, and you want to save your hero tokens so for super recruitment tickets um, the reason why I'm suggesting you save is there are certain times when these seasonal recruitment pools come up. For example, we have one currently going on in my state. Uh, we have seven Season X heroes in a pool and three orange heroes, so a total of 10 orange heroes in one pool. Um, and this basically makes your chances of getting one of these heroes significantly higher. So if you're unaware, if you go to the recruitment um, page, you click this little info icon up here, it's going to tell you the recruitment chances. So for super recruitment, this is really the only thing we care about. These are, I've never gotten a golden hero from any of these, but for super recruitments, it's f at a 4% rate. Uh, so you'll need basically 25 tickets, a little bit more. Um, to, to get an orange hero, generally. Obviously, the probability you know, works a little differently, but you can consider about 26. Um, so, if you take that number, let's just take that 26, um, and then we consider how many heroes there are. If you wanted a particular hero, let's say you wanted Heaven's Redemption, you would have to do 26 and times it by 10 generally in the other pool so so i mean obviously you know that's 260 tickets if you try to do it in this um, in just the normal recruitment ticket uh good luck look how many orange heroes there are i, I don't even want to count but i don't know 30 40 so 40 times 26 uh yeah significantly more so that's one of the reasons. And obviously, there are recruitment pools that are actually better than this. So there will be less orange heroes. Um, we just recently had one that was a uh, Panther and Countdown. So that's only two orange heroes. That's the time when you want to splurge and spend all of your tickets um, in kind of events like these. Now, when I say save, I don't mean save up a 100. I don't mean save up 50. I don't even mean save up 200. I'm really looking for, for, for you guys to save up a thousand or even more um, and it is doable following these other tips obviously you know I'm not necessarily practicing what I preach but I did just spend a bunch of these super recruitment tickets that's why uh, I only have 81 um, but yeah a thousand is a great is a great accomplishment um, to save up for so with that said with saving everything especially your super recruitment tickets uh, we'll move on uh, to the next tip. So tip number two is to reach three boxes of your hourly challenges every single day. So what I mean by that is if you go to events, you go to hourly challenge, you will see this third box over here. The first three of these every day that you unlock will grant you 20 hero tokens every day. If you unlock more than three, uh, you won't get hero tokens. You'll get all this other stuff but you won't get the hero tokens and we're, we're particularly caring about heroes in this video hero tokens um, can be used in the heroes hall in the token shop uh, to buy season heroes on a kind of sporadic sort of semi-random consistency it seems uh, not all states have the same heroes and definitely not at the same time but the season heroes will drop in this in the token shop and they cost 2400 for one copy of a hero. 
you can only buy the hero once when it's in the token shop um but yeah so if you wanted 2400 if you needed 2400 you wanted a copy of hummingbird um you're basically going to need to save your hero tokens until you have at least 2400 if you wanted all three of these obviously you'd have to multiply 2400 by three so this is a fantastic way to get heroes it's actually one of the best because you can just select the hero that you need so if you need that last pesky copy uh, hero tokens is definitely the way to go it can take a long time and you might be waiting a very long time to get that last dupe because like i said it's a pretty random kind of drop i guess to who who, who is unlocked in here but nevertheless hero tokens are a fantastic way and the best free consistent way to do it is to get these three boxes every day for a total of 60 hero tokens so step number three um similar kind of along the same lines is to unlock the third reward for the clash of zones competitions every day so the third reward if you go to clash of zones you go to today's event you'll find this chest zone rewards three if you're a base 23 i believe or higher you get uh, super recruitment tickets now there's a technology basically i think the last technology gives you double um, so we're going to consider that this video isn't about how to build your base to base you know 23 quickly or 25 quickly um, or to get technologies or anything like that there are a bunch of other videos for that if you want them if if you're interested in having me explain it uh, please just let me know in the comments and and i'll see if there's enough interest anyway every single day you can get at least one super recruitment ticket we're going to assume you're going to get two every day from doing this and this is entirely free it's in, it's incredibly easy to unlock this um when, once you're you know you have your technologies up and you're, and you're a base 25 very very easy to unlock this so do it every single day so tip number four is to join a super state now this is obviously pretty difficult um, to do because what happens is a super states get locked so to backtrack a little bit, a super state is essentially a state um, that wins pretty much all the time. So they win all of their Clash of Zone competitions. Um, they're in the Legend division. Um, and yeah, they basically just beat all of the other states um, at Clash of Zones. One of the reasons for this is they usually generally have a very high population. Um, a lot of their bases are maxed bases. Uh, and they're very competitive even in terms of spending, they're competitive. <laughs> so, super states are usually, usually become semi-open, is what it's called, so essentially it just means farms and new bases can only migrate in. However, new super states get, get formed every so often. Um, yeah, for example, I don't know, maybe 264 is new or something like that, I don't really know, but I know for some of the older immigration groupings, I, I believe 510 is considered a super state. Um, obviously that gets formed later. Uh, usually what happens is multiple alliances from similar uh, states all come together and decide pre pre-migration that they're gonna they're gonna you know form this this big state, they're gonna have rotating presidents, full non-aggression packs, um, things like that to really help out the state and to basically push it into the super state realm. Um, you should get in on that. So if alliances are talking about that, if states are talking about that, definitely uh, get your foot in the door um, and join a super state. The reason to join a super state is every day that you win, if you're a base 25, you get three super recruitment tickets every single day. And this is just insane. You don't even have to do anything. If you're in a super state and you're probably going to win anyway, you really don't have to do much. So I have zero points today so far. Zero. Our state's winning by over 30. 30 G. So 30 billion points. I'm going to get these three super recruitment tickets and I don't have to do anything. I'm just sitting here. I'm just logged in. Um, so this, coupled with... Um, the zone rewards three that you should be getting every day it's five free tickets every single day and it's so easy and that's just going to add up over time 
And like I said, if you're saving them, you're gonna just be racking them up. You don't even have to look at it. Uh, you'll notice, you know, the next day you go into the recruit, oh, shit, I have 20 more tickets. Uh, so it's a very great strategy is to join a super state. Especially if you're in a newer state that hasn't opened migration yet, or, you know, you're, I guess, let's say, I don't know, let's say a bunch of a bunch of states in your zone are gonna form a new one. Um, like I said, get your foot in. Uh, definitely join an alliance that's moving over and uh, immigrate over. Now this might, you might have to buy some immigration tickets, but it's highly, highly, highly worth it. So the final tip that I can give for you is to join a super guild for a doomsday. Now this is the hardest tip um, because this does require either, you know, a lot of charm. Uh, some people say, you know, if you're a woman, <laughs> you can get in easy, or if you put a picture of a, you know, hot girl, you'll get in. But hey, whatever. Um, the reason why you want to join the best guilds is because of the season rewards. Uh, so the season rewards for Doomsday, especially for the, you know, the top ranked guilds, are incredible, and by far the best way to unlock season heroes. By far, um, unless you're spending thousands and thousands of dollars, which people do. And, you know, if you want to do that, absolutely feel free. Uh, there's definitely no judgment for that. But this is videos for people who don't want to spend money. So, the core rewards, um, which you'll basically, you can get if you're a very, very active player. Like I said, if you're not going to spend money, you definitely need to be on the game more than players who are going to be spending money. You need to be more active, you need to have more farms, you need you know, to have higher contribution scores in Doomsday, you need to be leading people, organizing, being very diplomatic, being very charming, um, in order to get some of these better rewards. Uh, you know, the big beefy monster bases are just going to get these by just, you know, killing everything. Um, and that's cool. Uh, they deserve it. Um, but if, if you're not a beefy player, if you're not spending, uh, yeah, you, you have to be incredibly active. So basically, the rewards that I have, it's the first season of, of Eden Rising for, for me. Um, you can get five ex-legendary selection recruitment cards. This basically means you can just pick um, season X heroes. So I can just pick five season X heroes and boom, I have a fully maxed season X hero. I didn't have to do it. I didn't have to spend any money. I didn't even have to recruit, didn't have to get lucky, nothing like that. You also get three season one through season four. Um, so you can, again, similarly, you can recruit any hero that you want from the previous seasons. Um, and then this is just, uh, you know, regular orange heroes like Destroya, Arsenal, Reaper, stuff like that. Also, yeah, you'll guess. get Doomsday coins if you're in Doomsday. You can use Doomsday coins. Uh, this 200,000 is a lot. Um, this is the final reward. You can use Doomsday coins to basically buy these same cards and to get more heroes. So in one single doomsday season you can for free for absolutely free you can get at least six x heroes just from rewards um, with doomsday coins and if you're if like i said if you joined a super guild you're gonna get the highest reward you're gonna get guild challenges guild quests unlocked you're gonna get more doomsday coins um so yeah for free you'll get six x heroes that's that's just incredible so those are my five tips five best tips for free to players this, these aren't the only ways to get super recruitment tickets you're going to get them from events from free events um you know just just kind of by playing usually they come out with like you know a silly event where you kill like some dinosaurs or whatever and then you just get super recruitment tickets like that um yeah you get them for uh the end of uh a clash of zone basically month stuff like that um but these are the consistent ways that you can kind of do every single day and you'll just see see these things racking up if you're saving um, and then yeah once once you spend once you spend it on you know a good pool uh, sort of like this um, yeah you'll start to see a lot of season heroes like I said um, I know people are gonna comment but they're basically gonna be like oh I have a hundred tickets should I spend them all now and it'll just be on like the normal this recruitment and it's like no you shouldn't period um, yeah if you have questions on that like should I save them should I spend them 
like I said, feel free to leave it in the comments. Um, if you have any other tips for players, please reach out, let me know, uh, let the community know. Um, try to help each other out, guys. Uh, this is supposed to be a pretty fun game. The community aspect is very important, um, and I hope that's something that uh, that we can sort of create. So, with that said, slightly kind of different video um, for now. I, this was upon request. I hope it helps you guys out. Um, just take my take my tips into consideration. Uh, some of them are very very easy. Some of them are very difficult. Uh, but try to do try to do them every single day and just do your best. Um, I will be releasing a similar video very shortly, um, basically about the best, the top five tips to do it if you're going to spend money. Not all money is equal. Um, and to just give you a, a quick example, very quick, this is a $5 pack. You get two super recruitment tickets. If you spend $100, so you'll get, you'll buy 20 of these, you would get 40 super recruitment tickets. The normal cost is $100 for 30 super recruitment tickets. So you're getting 10 more for the exact same price. Uh, you know, that's very quick, basic math. Um, there's some pretty interesting and some neat data that I have uh, to show you the best value that you can get for spending your money. Uh, so stay tuned. Um, and this works even if you're not gonna spend a ton of money, uh, there's still some definitely, definitely good value buys. Uh, so like I said, stay tuned. Uh, have a great day, everybody, and yeah, just have fun. All right, see you guys later.